Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new <gasps> Gaze Reaction video! Oh my god, day one day, look who's back! It's been such a long time since you've taken crack. Instantly demonetized. <laughs> well, that's any money you're gonna earn uh, off this video. I, I mean, they always do one of those gay content and they're like, oh no, no! Hi everyone, hello, hello, hello. So, hi Callum. Hello, I feel like I, this is not how I remember it to be. What do you mean you don't I don't remember you being as like jittery. It's because I'm excited that you're back after so long. How long has it been? It's been literally like seven months, seven, eight months since we Gosh. made a video together. It's been a long time. Cause Gee he's, whiz. He's been gallivanting around the world. And we've had like no time together to really like do anything. He also hates me. He thinks I should die. He put yes. me in the gallows recently. No lies detected. No lies detected. The, the, the magic eight ball says, hmm. Outlook not too good. <gasps> so yes, today we are back to react to some homophobic memes, posts, videos, everything that we can find on the internet. So I presented by you. We're also gonna go on to Reddit and do all that kind of stuff. Oh, I'm so ready to relive some trauma. I know, triggered. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you saw, but. Anti-gay pasta believes Starbucks mixes semen out of sodomites into their coffee and has been tempted by the gay lifestyle. <sighs> See, I was really worried. <laughs> I was really worried that they would figure this out eventually. <laughs> this pastor's on to us. How do I have anything that, that like someone could think of? Like, how did you go? Do you know what? Today, I'm going to make up this story about how the men in the Starbucks are mixing semen into their coffee. But it's semen of sodomites. I know the straight ones. Any straight man that, no, it's the sodomites. Just... I would drink this coffee. I would go straight into Starbucks and say, can and I, I have a venti cappuccino. sodomite latte, please? <laughs> a venti sodomite with latte. extra semen. With extra, with extra sodomite semen. Extra sodomite Sodomacy. semen. Sodomacy. I want to work in Starbucks oh, now. Oh yeah, let's go Starbucks. I, I volunteer. Hello, pumpkin spice. <laughs> right, so. <laughs> That's the, that's the lesbian. Yeah, thing. that's the lesbian, yeah. <laughs> has to be inclusive. Yeah, Happy does. Pride, everyone. Happy Pride, everyone. Keep it classy, axe body wash. That's definitely a dude. It can't be. It's not. Who cares? Is what? Is I that, don't understand. Oh, it's like a, no, it's like a glass. It's a glass and I guess it's like alcohol and you drink it and then all of a sudden you don't care that it's a man. Oh, you know, they're being get, transphobic. Uh, basically, they're, being transphobic. they're like, as you're drinking and drinking and all of a sudden it's like, oh, it doesn't matter anymore. I'm pissed every hell's a go. Damned filth. Hangover, axe hangover recovery, get your game back. <laughs> <I'm> f***ing <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> I mean, this is like the opposite of like, Pride merch. It is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is like having, straight pride you merch. Can you imagine having like straight merch? If I went on Google right now and, and searched Axe Pride campaign, there'd be some, that th there'd be them slapping the rainbow on something. I mean, like, true. we love LGBT people. They, However, please bl please buy this transphobic glass yeah, they to drink out of. They sent me a rainbow uh, deodorant last year. They actually? Uh huh. So they do this, yeah. and then they're like, oh, hi gay. <laughs> hi gay. Hi gay. Notice how hot it is during Pride Month. God's giving y'all a free trial. Aww. Because we're going to hell. The thing is, is like, these people don't seem to understand. I and Callum and many other people do not believe in hell. So saying to me or saying to us that you're going to go to hell or, you know, God's giving y'all a free try, all this shit. Like, like, it doesn't mean anything. It's like, talking, you it? might as well come up to us and say, if you don't say the word lesbian, you're going to be eaten by the sofa later, who also is having babies with the table, who also gets eaten by the lesbians. Eaten by an escalator. Yeah. Eaten by an escalator. It's like, like going up to a straight person and saying, I cannot believe you're holding hands with your girlfriend. Yeah. What do you think the Babadook's gonna say? Yeah, <laughs> like it did that. Do not bring the Babadook into this, Callum. That was a very trying time for us. <laughs> the Babadook sat the Baba mime. Look at all the Babs of the Baba mime. Things that feel unintentionally homophobic. Have a fabulous LGBTQIABC. Oh my God, yes, bitch, yes, XYZ plus birthday. Burn that card. They were really trying to do something positive here, but that card needs to be immediately this shredded. This just makes me think of like the LGBT sandwich. <laughs> MS or what they had, the, and it was like, oh, um, no. and it was like, sorry, mum, we're coming out as guacamole. It was, <laughs> it was like, yeah, lettuce, it was less guacamole. Bacon, tomato. Yes. <laughs> and also, the most homophobic thing about it, it had like a bajillion calories. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell this is like someone called Kathy. It was that, like, I love the guys, me. Somebody's, yeah. somebody's been watching Drag Race. Yeah. Somebody's so a middle-aged middle woman has been watching Drag Race and she's mm -hmm. come up with this. And gone, 
Do you know she what? Really yeah. She did something. Yes, Queen! Now, you know what the irony of this is? What? If I had received this card at 16 years old, they probably would have loved it. That, oh, don't, because you know it's true. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> I would have loved it. Disgusting. I would have thought it was amazing. Thing is, I would actually buy you this now as a joke. <laughs> as a joke. As yeah. a joke. Straight Pride Day was created here. I'm so effing ashamed of my country. Oh, no. Is it real? A law, has, a law that created the Straight Pride Day was approved in... I'm not sure. Brazil. Um, Brazil. Oh, of course it was Brazil. The, that president's like really homophobic, isn't he? The thing is, though, like the Brazilian people are unbelievably pro-LGBT. The biggest pride parade in the world, I think. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the biggest pride pride event in the world was in Brazil. Straight pride! Do you remember we did that video about super straight? So when those super straight people from ages ago, I was like, ah, 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 what? you roll the footage. Roll no, the go, footage. go watch his videos. Yeah, go watch he, other videos. He needs to watch I need, yeah, I, I can't pay his bills. No, I can't, no, I've had to have a doctor eating toenails. Disgusting! <gasps> what is this flag? I don't know. It actually like, looks, it it actually looks, actually looks kind of fair. Like, yeah, like it does look a bit fair. It, it does, like, like a little, little bit fruity. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, straight pride. Yes. <laughs> what I think is funny, they've got a straight pride flag, but they've got two men to hold it up. Uh, yeah. Why would they have a man and a woman? Doesn't seem very strange no, to me. No. Maybe the persons that wrote the Bible should have studied trauma-related responses. It's not gay or straight to define sexuality. It's who you trust. In my opinion, sexual attraction is a side effect of getting to know a person on a basic level of trust. Then things tend to get tricky because of the mutual validation that m makes people attracted to the mind before the physical. I'm not validating rape. What? That just came out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm not validating rape or aggression or humiliation because that is the truth behind developing an affinity for trusting one sex or the other. Love your sons unconditionally, mothers, and be a bit of an asshole to them dads. Love your daughter's dads and be a bit of an asshole to your daughter's mums and everyone will end up straight. What? This should Literally, be Literally, what? This should be a PSA. Abstain in school, kids, and don't take drugs. In order to make a straight child, the dad has to abuse them so that they build a really unhealthy relationship with, with men, men. And therefore, which is not how sexual attraction works at all, but no. this is their theory. And then saying that mothers should be horrible to their daughters so they turn out straight. That is the most messed up thing that I've ever heard. And the fact that they start it with, I'm, I'm not saying rape is okay. No. It's like, well, I, w I wasn't saying you were for a start. We've used the term unhinged. <laughs> Liberally. Liberally. <laughs> but with this, <laughs> unhinged. <laughs> I turned out gay, but it's because men were nice to me growing up. No, men are... Yeah, no, yeah, men were yeah, nice to you. Yeah, we got women him, were we got horrible him. To you. Yeah, women, yeah, women I mean, were horrible. I mean, to you. yeah, my mum made me gay because she was awful. Like, my mum was so nice to yeah. me. No, she wasn't. She beat you up and buried you in oh, the wait, beach every day. Oh, wait, my mum being nice to me make me gay or make me not gay? Yeah, because mom's... this logic is so. I can't. Yeah. Which way round is it? I mean, either way, you're gay, so. They failed as parents. No, no, my mum has to be... <laughs> if my mum's nice to me, that makes me gay, does it? I don't know. No. I, oh. I don't know why you're trying to find logic in this. <laughs> <laughs> when he realised he don't want to play with toys no more and it's a baby looking at a lingerie model. And the comment is making sure he's on the default settings. This is f This is f deranged. It is deranged. This is, this is sexualising children and the irony is that you constantly accuse us yep, of doing yep, that. Yep. Oh, but God forbid. Oh no, I couldn't possibly have a gay man teach my child in school. No, but you can see some woman's <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I say, I say, what's the language? Homosexuals are weaker men. How does it make men weak? How can it be harmful for them to learn it's okay to love who they want without being shamed or hatred from bigots? And this person's wrote, I'm not sure why I need to explain this, but gay men on average are incredibly weaker, less abled, less brave, and in general do not produce the strong masculine traits needed in society. <laughs> heterosexual. Hero, hero, heterosexual abuse kids as well, but the rate is way higher for homosexuals. Many homosexuals are made from child abuse and many continue to cycle the continue just based to cycle on themselves. Absolute nothing, just pulling pulling arbitrary facts that are What are you talking about? Style. What are um, you talking I'm about? Also, I hate this idea that gay men are incredibly weaker, less able, less brave. Take I'm a like, dick up your ass. I was about to say, take, to a, take a nine inch <laughs> dick and then tell me <laughs> about bravery. Good heavens. LGBT people are probably some of the most strongest people on the planet. Like we have the, the shit that we have to go through mm. in order to, to get, to, the things that I had to go through to get to where I am now. You'd think I was a weak, pathetic, 
not strong or anything no, like ridiculous, what? Ridiculous idea. Unhinged. And and less able. I'm I'm sorry. Less I'm able. I'm not saying LGBT plus people are better or more talented, but if you just look at the variety mm. of creatives out there who happen to yeah. LGBT, be LGBT plus, it is enormous. So yeah. where this idea that we're less able comes from. Not quite sure about They were that, talking Susan. about you, Callum, sorry. Mm. A rainbow emoji will get you instantly banned from our page. Warriors of Christ. Warriors for Christ. Yeah, they get upset about a <laughs> rainbow. That, no! You'll be instantly banned with the warriors of Christ. Warriors! But the be I think you're missing the best thing about this is that 16.3 thousand people <laughs> have responded to this with a rainbow emoji. <laughs> amazing. A monthly aid. Amazing. That, see, that's the shit that we want to see. Yeah. Straight person. I don't have a problem with you being gay as long as you don't hit on me. Me. Oh, don't worry. You're not my type anyway. Straight person. That is heterophobia <laughs> and I won't stand for it. Yeah, where's the lie? Well, the, the thing the is, that is, that is, the, that is the, the, the stupid thing is like, but also, I, I remember in school, when I was in school and all the like the guys were like, oh, watch out, the batty boy's coming, the bender's coming, oh, turn around because he might try to, and I was like, it I'm was a bottom. Always... <laughs> He ain't gonna top you. <laughs> <laughs> you got nothing to worry about, my guy. Backs against the wall. Yeah, put the backs against your wall because I don't want to see your stanky ass. The thing is, it was always ugly people as well. It was never, yeah, it was I, never I, I the hot ones. It was always the most disgusting, like decrep, like bitch, you look like a rotten foot. <laughs> Boys in 2021, it's a, okay, I mean, James Charles. it's James Charles, but I mean, right. And and boys then... in 1920. Well, they still look a bit They look like men. Me. That's they... a man, that's not a boy. Well, they st and they still look a bit fruity. <laughs> like, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, like, they... I never understand why they do this thing about, like... Back in my day, we played with guns and killed people. Now in your day, you put makeup on and film videos. I'm like, so you'd rather people be murdering people than just... Oh, always so it's the most ridiculous. But also, I don't understand why this, they see someone... I mean, they think suddenly every single child, every single male child in the world is suddenly this... When it's actually like a teeny, Still a teeny, tiny, tiny portion. Like it's rare to see, see somebody who expresses themselves like that. Yeah. Really, really rare. I mean, Even we live in an incredibly metropolitan city in London and I and I see maybe one person like that a month on the street. Yeah. I don't like, see many people like this. Even within the LGBT community, it's still not as common to see someone who wears as much makeup as James Charles and does like full face. You still don't really see that even within our community. <laughs> Looks I like can Kate. see her looks, profile picture. Looks like Caitlin Bennett, yeah, to be looks honest. Looks like Caitlin Bennett. So this is a tweet from Kelly. Hello, Kelly. My son's school recently got new textbooks for health class and they mentioned homosexuality. This is absolutely absurd as this is a public school and they shouldn't be pushing an agenda. Now these children will not learn what is wrong with being gay. Unacceptable. So what, what I think is funny is you're saying that it's not okay for them to learn that being gay is okay, but it's okay for them to not learn and actually learn that it's awful. Yeah. So you're, you're technically just pushing a, your own agenda. It's like you can't see the hip, the contradiction in your own statement. But let's for a second pretend that there is no right and wrong and this is genuinely an, a debate that people are entitled to their own opinions on. This is about textbooks in a health class acknowledging homosexuality. That isn't actually pushing a, a pro-LGBT yeah. plus agenda. It is just acknowledging homosexuality as something that exists, which it does, which is crucially important in the context of a health class. Mm -hmm. So what she's saying, she's wrong anyway, but even her argument is completely flawed. I know, uh, this is exactly what I expected from Kelly Watson, to be honest. <laughs> the second I saw her profile picture, she looks just like Caitlin Bennett. Of course, this is what she's gonna say. But the thing is as well, it's, it's like these people think that when they hear about LGBT stuff being taught in school, there's suddenly all these textbooks have having like hardcore gay porn in it or something. I don't understand why you look at a child, a young person, who might say that they might think they might be gay or come out as gay or know that think gay things are being taught to them and you instantly go to sex. I'm like, you're the one, like you said that we're sexualizing children, but that's they hear exactly gay what they, you are doing. They hear the word gay or homosexual and they instantly visualize two big giant hairy men having really hardcore Dripping wet sex. Ooh. Oh, got a bit excited. Kelly's there. getting wet. <laughs> so, tsunami from my. No, oh, here we go. Oh, no, I don't even read it. Haven't like, the, seen it, this. The picture one. is too much. So it's it's. Sir, so we're under heavy fire. Requesting air support. We're only sending backup to vaccinated troops, and sir is not my pronoun. 
I mean, Sir isn't a pronoun to begin oh, with. I know, I was about to say that, but like, like try and explain that to these people. They, they're the fact, like, Sir, it, you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, what's this, like, purple haired man? Like, I'm sure he loved being part of this meme. I do like his nails. He though. does, yeah. I do like his nails. Not very, they're not very lesbian friendly. I can't tell what this means. They are not the church. <laughs> <laughs> What's the hat? What does that What's mean? The pink hat. What's the pink? What is it? I don't understand. Is this the new Teletubbies? I don't get they it. They are not. And it's an so, ad. It's an advert for church militant. What is that? I've no idea what that is. I don't want to be a part of it though. They so are is this, not the church. So this is like. Is that communism? Yeah. I do, is that communism? But also like. So this is <laughs> puffs communism and. <laughs> pink hats. Are your heads fluffy like, hats? I don't understand. What, what is that, that last one? Is supposed to be. What is that meant to be? A well, rap it's not artist. The church. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> so tell me, since when hating LGBT is homophobic? This is a TikTok comment. <laughs> Oh, oh, Jesus. You, oh, for God's sake. Just, just says it all, doesn't it? A TikTok comment. They put like this going like, <laughs> on TikTok going, I'm viral just doing this. I'm dancing. Yeah, apparently you don't know what homophobia is. Oh. Jesus Christ. I just, I just, I, I, have, I have nothing to say to this. You have person. nothing to say? I have nothing to say to you. Absolutely nothing. Should have been swallowed. Go drink some sodomite coffee! <laughs> gay couple f who fell in love after both trying to pray the gay away welcome triplets. And someone's commented, this is a news story, and someone's commented, regardless of how happy I am for them, I thought the left followed science. And science says every child while climbing the monkey bars needs a mum saying careful, careful, and a dad saying higher, higher. Now three kids don't get that. What? What? What's this person talking about? Apparently only mothers worry about their child's safety. And all the dads go is, gone, get out of here, bitch. Might fall off and crack your neck. Why are we capitalizing them? Child? I don't, That's... them, I'm, it's, I... there's so much to unpack here. I know. Firstly, I just want to, uh, uh, like, congratulations to this couple. Yeah. Because, it, like, it's actually, I think some people would attack them for trying to pray the way, pray the gay away. But a lot of people are, like, forced into that lifestyle forced, and brainwashed. Yeah, brainwashed. And... This comment, I could be here all day. <laughs> trying to decipher. Uh, j j j just, the, the logic here. Mm -hmm. I'm is... really happy for them! <laughs> <laughs> and it's just the weirdest analogy to go but for. But also, what do you mean? Science says that every child needs a mum saying, careful, careful, on the monkey bars. Wait, when did science say I, that? I love that re that real science. I wish yeah, the entire you know, documentary year, was a 10 part Netflix this. documentary. I remember this. Yeah. Like year nine GCSEs mm -hmm. was in the biology book. Mm -hmm. Really? There was, a, there was a really big issue in my school where too many children. Fell, fell off, off the, monkey the monkey bars, bars because their mother wasn't there because their dad so it was just two men going higher yeah. higher <laughs> die i am not homophobic but i just think the new cadbury egg advert to be shown on itv is totally unnecessary <laughs> showing two men passionately enjoying a cream egg that children love to eat will only confuse children at such a young age. I remember this advert. It's I do, I back. do. I remember it. Do you yeah. So basically in the UK, we had an advert where Cadbury's Cream Egg were advertising. Was it Christmas? Was it Christmas? Why, Easter, no doubt. But what's stupid about it is they they said passionately kissing or pa like, they literally just kind of ate it from each other's mouths. Yeah. It wasn't like they were like tongue. Uh. It was like they just had one, but a little bit of Lady in the Tramp, I guess, kissing in the middle, kind of like that. But also they're saying it's gonna confuse children. The only reason it would confuse children is because you've taught them it's wrong. Also, and if it was like a man and a woman doing this, or God forbid, two women, mm -hmm. you'd probably be like, yeah, it's just yeah. a young girl. Yeah. Ah. Like you were disgusting, yeah. Just making sure you're not a f Bruh, them gays only voted for Biden because you guys would have lost your rights. You're dumb. <laughs> well, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how democracy works. <laughs> That's so stupid. But again, I mean, it just show it just shows the IQ. They are really. It just honestly. shows the IQ. And it's like all those people that stormed the White House and thought it was just gonna be fine and nothing was gonna happen to them. And now they've all been like prosecuted, charged. And, like so yeah. many, yeah, so many are getting prosecuted and charged. It's so ridiculous. That's I still can't believe that even happened. Like, I how cannot did that believe happen? 
anything that happened in the past four to five years actually happened. We've been living in like this weird simulation of hell. We have! We have, it's literally been a simulation of a Fellas, it's gay to have skincare routine. And this is from a Reddit post. Can boys with smooth, clear skin on their face stop saying they're straight? We know you're not. Thanks. This, oh, this person probably looks like a crocodile, don't they? Their face is probably disgusting and they just move and all of a sudden it's like, they're just I also, off. I also have proof that it isn't gay to have a skincare routine mm -hmm. because me, I am the biggest in I thought you were about to say for a second miles, that you're straight. And I do not have a skincare routine. No, he doesn't. Well, I mean, you do. We just don't talk about it online because it does involve well, the placenta and fetus. Yeah, and I do go down to the local Starbucks mm -hmm. to get my sodomite If you coffee. go down to the Starbucks today, you have a sodomite surprise. What I love what about being next to Callum, because he doesn't have a skincare routine, and I do, I look eight years younger than him. I don't know. I look, I look I'm the young one here. Mm. Caitlin Bennett. This like this video if you think I look the youngest. Uh, I'll bring back an old thing. What was the old thing? I'll bring back an old thing. Oh, I don't know what you're right. bringing back. That's it. You're doing <laughs> it. coming right. back. No, right. don't put... Wait, what's happening? <laughs> Hello, yeah, he's doing it again. <laughs> yeah, Callum abuses dogs. I thought, I, I legitimately thought you were going to get like a bowl and start making something into cereal. <laughs> I, just, I just have a cereal bowl just at, on hand. Just ready to yeah. dramatise me. Ooh. Why should gay people have rights when we don't even have the right to not have to put up with seeing them in public? Share if you are against gay people. And it's a gay per and then it's a person kicking over a a gay person with an LGBT flag. I don't get how you can say this and not see like the, the no, connection think... between many other things that in the past that has been ostracized and hated and you're like, no, but this one thing is very different. Like, no. No, but the thing is, this has clearly been written by a straight cis white man mm -hmm. who has never experienced any discrimination no. in his life. And suddenly- No, but he is discriminated against because he's not allowed to discriminate against other yeah, people. Yeah, he's so not allowed- We're taking away his rights. Yeah, he's not allowed to kick gay people down the stairs. Yeah. So you can see how that infringes upon his- him as a person really mm -hmm. infringes on his human rights yeah. so yeah I absolutely agree with this post and I think you know straight cis white men should be able to kick LGBT plus people they down should, the stairs yeah. at all times really and I, and I volunteer myself because I would hate to infringe on your rights I don't even know what you're doing but <laughs> <laughs> I was playing I was playing a little violin it was, it was the, is the violin haunted? <laughs> I know it kind of turned into a ceremony instead. I don't know, a theremin. <laughs> Love the reply to this one. As a straight male, how do you feel about your child having a homosexual school teacher who is around them eight hours a day? Would they be able to teach my kid the difference between there, there and there? <laughs> it's like, I don't understand why That's this brilliant. whole thing of like being around someone who's gay is going to make someone gay. My entire upbringing was heterosexual and straight and I'm still a raging raging a raging yeah. <laughs> homosexual homosexual homosexual, homosexual who engaged in homosexual activities one never knows when the homosexual is about they're so insecure about their own identity but also about the identity of their children mm -hmm. it's very weird it's very weird mm -hmm. that's the thing if you're around a gay person all the time and it making you start to be like oh I think maybe you might you actually might be gay. gay. Well, guys, we are well and truly aboard that trigger train. Choo choo, spin done where we're about to crash off, live and plunge to our deaths. Bye! I hit the wall and it scared me. <laughs> Apparently, this is now a thing. I don't know when this video It's because a thing. you don't watch my videos. Yeah, no, I don't. Well, exactly. I don't so, don't, so don't be like, oh, so apparently this is a thing. This is not this a thing. <laughs> it's been a thing for like a year. Like, sh shut up. <laughs> I have been saying this for ages, Callum. So be quiet. <laughs> no, I, do, okay, how do we do it? I still do my other one. Everyone on the... What is it? <laughs> so, I mean, normally I would have my fan with me because I've got you, I haven't got my fan with me, but I would normally go... <laughs> So guys, I'm well and truly aboard that trigger train. Choo choo, spinning down the way. We're about to crash off a cliff and plunge to my death. Bah! But obviously I would normally be standing up, so I would dip myself down. And then I go, and then recently I've added in and I made a full recovery. <gasps> I cannot believe you make money doing this. <laughs> 
anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you, thank you. Of course, Callum, thank you for being on my channel again. You're so welcome. You're so welcome. Thank you. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you miss any videos that are coming up. Today's Twitch shout out goes to Wolfakeen. Thank you so much for following me over on Twitch. If you would like to be in with a chance of being the next Twitch shout out, come follow me over on Twitch. It's Rolly West over on Twitch, and you can maybe be in the next one. A massive shout out to my lovely patrons whose names you can see on the side of the screen here, and an extra special shout out to my top tier patrons. Aurora666, Benjamin Baker, Bethard, Brenna, Kaz.dom, Shell Herman, Christina Carl, Con Pemberton, Crafty Leaks, Diana Nida, Heather McFarland, I at, Joanna Krause, Caitlin Wright, Kelly Bowser, Chloe Louise, Lisa Pennington, Matthew J. Bauer, Monica Corgi, Petra Selenis, Rachel DC Biscuit, Robin Scott, Sam Perfect, and Steph Utek. It was I was singing it in the tune of the Venga Boys, you Anyway, be found as amazing we gave everything you want to be as an individual. I missed it. Cause you are what? A sodomite.